Do you want to make your smart home network better and get accurate weather? Let's dive into it on the next Mix Attack. Hi guys, welcome to Mix Tech, where I review technology for the consumer prosumer and I give my take on the things I see. After personally purchasing a number of Eve products, I decided that I wanted to add to my Eve products and get the Eve weather. In fall in the United States, the weather can change from you need a sweater to you can wear your polo and shorts. And so I wanted to have something that I could have out of my deck that I would be able to determine what was the best situation for me walking out and enjoying my deck or going and looking to see if I could have a fire in the fire pit. And what I found is that with Eve's response to supporting Thread and also their commitment to privacy and Apple HomeKit, that's why I wanted to try out this device. The Eve weather features temperature, humidity, barometric pressure sensors that allow you to evaluate the weather in your area. This device is powered by a 2450 lithium battery, which should give you about a year. I've only had it for a few months and there's no battery indicator to tell me how much it's used, but I can tell that it's pretty efficient in the usage. It's not always on and it's only needed when you need to pull it up from an automation or an app. And my favorite feature about this device and it's part of why I like Eve in general is their ability to leverage thread. So if you have a thread board or router, so that could be a HomePod mini, it could be a brand new Apple TV 4K, or some Eros and other things that are coming out in the future as a border router, you'll be able to support this device and add it to your thread network. Not only is it good to add to your thread network, but it extends your capability because this goes outdoors. So you can extend your thread network out beyond your house and be able to leverage other outdoor devices. You could use the Eve Aqua or other devices that are necessary for you to be successful with your smart home. This device can read both Celsius and Fahrenheit, and it has really good accuracy. From a Celsius perspective, it's plus or minus 0.3 degrees Celsius, and from a Fahrenheit perspective, it's plus or minus 0.54 degrees Fahrenheit. It can get plus or minus 3% in humidity, and I've placed this under a covered deck so that it's not getting direct sunlight or getting a lot of moisture because this is an IPX3, which means you can't really soak it, but yes, you can have water get on it and you'll be okay. This device costs $69. I know it's pricey in comparison to what you might be looking for, but it comes with a lot of automation options that you just can't get on other Apple HomeKit devices or in Apple HomeKit in general. You can add this accessory directly in Apple HomeKit, but I recommend for any e-product that you install the Eve app. Even if you don't have e-products, Eve app is really good because it can tell you what's on your thread network. And there's some other really cool automations that you can do that you just can't do in Apple HomeKit. One of the reasons that you wanna use the Eve app over Apple HomeKit is because you can upgrade the firmware through the app where you can't do that on Apple HomeKit. And also more importantly, they have rules which allow you to run automation based upon temperature and humidity, which you can't do in Apple HomeKit. The other thing is that you can see historical data. So maybe if you have a second house or you're trying to check in on your family or relatives, you can actually look at the historical weather conditions at the location where that device is located. So it's great to look at things in the past and try to figure out you know, what the conditions are gonna be for the following week or how it's been for the last couple months. That's something that you can get in the Eve app that you can't do in Apple HomeKit. Now Eve doesn't provide any mounting hardware, so you will have to provide a nail or screw that's appropriate for the location that you wanna mount it. Once you measure, and just like you do with a picture frame, you should be able to put it up easily. Now, I didn't take a lot of time. I just wanna put this out there so I could test it. So it's not perfect, and I probably will go back and adjust it, but it's really easy. I just had a half inch screw put it into the post and was able to apply it to the back and it stays on there really good. So to justify the $69 for this device outside of the quality of the product in the Eve app, it's around rules. So what I mentioned earlier, you can't really do a lot of Apple HomeKit automation with temperature and humidity. You have to use Eve app to be able to make automation happen with this device. In my use case, I wanted to be able to cool down my house when it's after 5 p.m. and I wanted to make sure that the temperature was above 75 degrees to make it worthy of cooling down my house. So in the Eve app, I went to the rules and I went to the trigger, which is anything that's after 5 p.m. And then I also looked to see if the, the temperature was 75 degrees or greater. Now I already had a scene that would cool down my house with a fan. So I just applied the scene, cool down my house with fans. So when it's five o'clock and it's above 75 degrees, my fans will turn on so I don't have to run my AC and that adds to my energy cost savings. Now, one of the automations that I wanna use that I haven't done yet is I'd like to add motion sensing to my deck. And so whether it's through my door or through a camera, I wanna detect as a trigger that I'm out of my deck 
and that if it's above 75 degrees, I want the fan to turn on so I can enjoy my deck and not be really hot when I'm outside. And outside of automations, the display is just really good and practical to use. I actually have it mounted on my deck to where I can see it on my deck, but I can also see it through my kitchen. So I can look at the temperature currently at my house. And what's really good, which you really can't find on other weather apps is the humidity in my exact location. So it's really good in the south to kind of understand how humid of a day it's gonna be before I walk outside. So what are my final thoughts on this device? Well, if you're in the Apple ecosystem, you enjoy Thread, and you're looking to build automation based upon temperature and humidity, this is one of the best options to go with because you can't do that with Apple HomeKit alone. And really, even if you're just looking at this to look at weather and you wanna to add to your Thread network, it's really a good option out there. Now, I understand the cost is high, but I feel that it's justified based upon the automation needs that you might have. If you don't have these automation needs, this might be a luxury item for you. But for me, it's a great ad because I can look at the temperature and make all kinds of decisions around my house by using the EVAP with rules. Well, that wraps up this video, and I hope you've liked it. And if you have, make sure to the like button. If you haven't done so already, make sure to subscribe to this channel for more great content like this. Thanks for joining a Mixed Tech.